Josh, uh, this is my project for Algebra 2 Honors, explaining law, and today we are going to show you at what point a breaker will trip because it's overloaded. This is Ohm's Law. So today we have a heater, a toaster, and a hair dryer. Now, the way they play into this, they are the watts of what we're doing. And we're trying to find at what amps the breaker will trip. And so the volts we have is 120, and the amount of watts is all these added together. Each heater, or each toaster, or each hair dryer, they all run on a certain amount of watts. And the heater we have today is fit or 1500 watts. The toaster is 1050 watts, and the hair dryer is 1600 watts. And when we do this, we want the amps. And so there are three things that we can use with finding out the amps. And the one that'll deal with both of those is P over E. And so we have the add all amount of watts and divide it by the volt we're using, which is 120. And so here is the math, the problem, and then I equals 1500 over 120, that's the heater. 1050 over 120, that's the toaster. 1600 over 120, and that is the hair dryer. All those add together is one or 4150 over 120, and then once you do that math, you get the amount of amps. I uh, turns out to be 34 and a half, pretty much, amps. And our breaker today is around 15 amps. This is our hair dryer that we borrowed, 1600 watts. This is our heater, 1500 watts. And this is our toaster, 1050 watts. When I turn it on, it'll take a couple seconds and the breaker will eventually trip. Here we go. Yeah. Right now, everything is heating up until the point the breaker will eventually trip. And there you go, it's overloaded. Thank you for joining me. I'm Josh Fly in your electrical occupation shop with Holmes Law.